This is my first clinical rotation as a physician, physician assistant student. And so coming into this rotation, I really didn't have a lot of expectations. I didn't, I didn't hear rumors about what the rotation would be like. Um, and so I, I wanted to just come in with, into it with an open mind. Um, having said that, I still think I was surprised when I came into Seclair at, uh, at the, uh, the type of therapy that we provide here to, to patients. And um, I'll have to admit I was a little bit skeptical at first when I saw uh, all the different avenues and all the different things that we do here for our patients. I didn't know if it was for me or, or if I would like it. Uh, the first week I was, I was skeptical. Um, but after that I decided to uh, really give it a chance and open up my mind and open up my heart to uh, the possibility that this uh, modality of treatment could really be beneficial for patients. And once I did that, it's, it's just been an amazing, amazing experience. It's exceeded all of my uh, expectations as a student. And what I've found to be so great about it is that the things that we teach our patients are things that we can also incorporate into our lives as students, uh, such as mindfulness and such as uh, the DBT skills that, uh, that we teach. Um, these are all things that while I look forward to teaching them to my patients in the future, I can incorporate them into my life with my family as well. And going through the last five weeks has just, it's flown by because it's been such an amazing experience and, and getting to know all the fantastic people here. I think my favorite memory was uh, we went to visit the, the Sisters of Charity over at Seton Hill. And we had an amazing experience there where we were able to interact with the sisters there who were in the hospital and we were able to hear their stories and the things that they, um, I guess the things that happened in their life that led them to where they were. And I'll, I'll always remember the sister that I spoke with and uh, how grateful she was for all the experiences in her life. She just kept saying, you know, praise be to God for all these things. And this was coming from a woman who was lying in a hospital bed and uh, probably won't have much time left in her life. But the gratitude that she had really had a huge impact on me. And uh, I think I'll carry that throughout the rest of my life. Uh, this has been said before, but I definitely say keep an open mind. Uh, I wish I did that from the start, uh, but because I didn't, I feel like I, I didn't get as much out of the first week of my Seclair rotation that I, that I could have. Uh, but if you come into this rotation with an open mind and you're willing to embrace Seclair for everything that it offers, uh, you're, gonna, you're not going to want to leave because I don't want to leave. Uh, if you just really embrace everything and, and uh, try and incorporate uh, all the different aspects of uh, dialectical behavioral therapy into your life as well as how you can incorporate that into your patient's lives. <laughs> Definitely, I feel like uh, the main thing that I've taken away from Seclair is, is mindfulness and um, in the ways that uh, we all have stresses in our lives. We all have um, problems that, uh, that are either occurring or unforeseen that, uh, that can occur spontaneously and I feel like if we can incorporate mindfulness into our lives, like, like I'm trying to do now, we can, we can really face those challenges up front. Instead of trying to chase it down once it becomes a huge, huge issue, uh, we can become really good at acknowledging those things and then uh, and taking care of them before they become a big issue. And I think being mindful is a good way for us just to be aware of our emotions, be aware of our, of our situation, and uh, being at peace with that.